right, over here, Amelia Bacon and I are having a little uh, summer fun with our battleship game over here. But Amelia is actually here to talk about the battle that you're probably fighting in your home with all of that laundry to do. And as we would expect, you've got some ideas of how to make even that chore a little bit greener. A little bit greener, but it also saves you a lot of money, too. Um, because doing green laundry is a, lo a lot about conservation of water and energy. So mm -hmm. you should see a little bit of a drop in your energy and your water bills as well. Um, and I have a couple of tips for washing and a couple for drying. Okay. Uh, my number one tip for washing is to use some sort of biodegradable detergent mm -hmm. um, and always doing full loads, uh, not wasting the water with doing a half a load. And if you yeah. wash all in cold, you never have to sort anyway. So that cuts out a lot of it at a time, too. Some folks wonder, though, if cold water really gets their clothes clean. Is it about the water or is, there, or is it about the soap? I think it's a little bit about the soap, a little bit about the water, mm -hmm. a little bit about your actual washing machine as well. Right. So, you know, I, I haven't had any problems with washing on cold. Everything seems to come out. One of my favorite eco-friendly detergents is Charlie's soap. And yeah. it's, um, a lot of moms like it because it's pretty tough, but mm -hmm. it's still a biodegradable, non-toxic soap. What, uh, folks will be surprised to hear that because they probably don't even think about their laundry detergent. You know, they just use it and how much laundry detergent kind of runs off because of all the water that's draining out of the washing mm -hmm. machines. How do you know if your detergent breaks down or is it safe to assume that a lot of them don't unless you specifically seek out one that does? If it, w if it is biodegradable, it will say that on the package, okay. uh, meaning that it should break down in the water system within 28 days. Mm -hmm. So it should just return right back to nature. And what if it doesn't? How harmful can this stuff be? Um, a lot of it goes into the water treatment plants and then having to pull all of those chemicals out. Some of it can seep into the ground waters and into the waterways as well. Mm -hmm. And of course, a lot of them are really chemical heavy, so that's detrimental to our marine life. So we don't want that. Look for that biodegradable detergent. What about mm -hmm. fabric softener? Same thing? Same thing. Fabric okay. softener, same thing. But one of my favorite fabric, fabric softener tips is to use vinegar instead. Um, vinegar is a, a corn derivative, uh -huh. and it's, it will get your whites brighter, and it will also act as a fabric softener. You can use it as a bleach alternative. So vinegar is very versatile in your laundry. Does it make your clothes smell like vinegar? It doesn't. The smell of vinegar is only there whenever it's wet. As soon as it dries, you can't smell anything. I'm going to totally try that. You should. So you're it telling me fantastic. I could pour vinegar in the little ball that I have mm -hmm. right now? Get out of town! You can put it in your little bleach holder. You can put it in the so uh, softener one. You can yeah. use it as a pre-wash. And it's totally I put it in all three. It is. It's much cheaper than using fabric softener. And it's a green product as well. Wow. All right, what else do you have? I'm already, <laughs> I'm already stunned and amazed, so you could leave at this point if you wanted to. But if you want to stick around, what do you have? advice we'll do you have for the We'll switch over to the dryer. Yeah. So for the dryer, um, uh, you know, a lot of people like to put the fabric softener sheets in there. And yes. I don't know if it's for the smell or because they think they actually need them for the static. Uh, mm. But the static is a direct result of over drying. So oh. starting the temperature down a or the time down a little bit, maybe at 30 minutes or something like that to see if that'll dry your clothes. And then moving up a little bit will save you an energy because you're not drying as long. Gotcha. But then you won't have to use the fabric softener sheets as well. Well, you're not using them anyway because you're using vinegar now. <laughs> right? That's right. So those That's fabric right. sheets are out of your life. Use them for the mosquitoes or those other things they're supposed to be. And my other great tip for dryer, uh, drying clothes is to, if you have a really big laundry load, mm -hmm. is to kind of separate the really heavy, like maybe towels and, and some jeans or something like that, yeah. into a drying load by itself. And then put all the other lightweight ones in the dryer by themselves right? Um, because matching up kind of the density of the fabric mm -hmm. will allow your clothes to dry at the same speed and you, you know, your lighter ones will dry much quicker and then you'll have a little bit longer time for your towels which you would need anyways. So that's a good um, if you are going to sort not necessarily anymore by color you know because you can wash things in cold maybe by weight mm -hmm. you know the texture of the fabric. Absolutely. Too. Now do you do you recommend drying things out of the line if you use vinegar for fabric softener <laughs> will your clothes be soft if they dry outside or are you, you should absolutely take advantage of Drying outside, but it's been so humid that I'm not sure how quick it'll <laughs> right. dry. That will days. take six days, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, absolutely. If there's something you don't need until November, go ahead and hang outside. <laughs> All right, well, thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you. those tips for how to make your dryer run a little bit more efficiently and uh, how to spot those biodegradable detergents mm -hmm. and fabric softeners and a, yet another awesome use for vinegar. Yes, Brightens absolutely. whites and makes clothes soft. Mm -hmm. Holy cow. For pennies. All right, Amelia Baker, thanks so much. If you would like more ideas from Amelia, you can visit the Green Alternative store. It's inside the fantastic Five Points Community Farm Market right there on Church Street, Norfolk. That's where to get your Charlie's soap. Thanks, Amelia. Thank you.